to the shop. I'm Joe. Uh, this is my shop and today and tonight we're going to work on a little project. Uh, a little bit different than what I normally do. However, it is winter time. I love tools and I'm working on kind of uh, organizing the shop and working on projects in the shop. And so today I get to use a tool for the first time ever. We're going to build a small rack to kind of house a few of my essential driver bits. Uh, you know, we use the Phillips head a lot, we use the Torx head a lot, and sometimes we even use a nut driver quite often. And a lot of times it's, it's a hassle to open up this case of assorted pieces. And so we're going to build a small rack that I can fasten to the wall that will organize a few of these pieces. And what we're going to use to do this is actually an old, old friend. I bought this at a uh, flea market years ago. And this is, let's put it right nice and close, it is the Stanley 59. So I've got, I've got an assortment of things. This is the box that uh, came with the, uh, the dowling jig, as you can see, I spent just shy of $10 at the flea market, probably overpaid. And, uh, and so this has quite a few adjustments. And what I have right now is a number five bit, which is 5 16 And what you would do is you would line that up, that number five, with half of the thickness of your board, since I'm dealing with three quarter inch board. I'm gonna set that up at three eighths of an inch for the number five setting. You get that set and then there is a small mark right there. And that's what I'm gonna line up my marks. Now the board here is 10 inches in length. And so I'm going to probably just come along every inch and a half or so and make a mark. And if I have four marks, five marks, that would be a-okay with me. So, we've got a 10 inch board. Let's just go ahead and let's make things nice and symmetric. Make that mark right at five inches. And quite honestly, let's just make a mark every inch. Why not? Probably easier to have extra holes than to not have enough. So, take the old square, there we go. Not the prettiest things in the world, but uh, stand them up next to me and they're probably in pretty good shape. Uh, it does come with this little stopper, which I, I don't think that it's a real great thing, however, uh, a tool like this was probably meant to use a brace with it instead of a cordless drill. So all we have to do now is line up that mark. I highly doubt you can see that very good. I'm gonna line up that mark with the marking on the tool. I've got this stopper kind of set for my depth and now I can just Take it all the way down. And there we go.
So that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, not too exciting, but as I uh, continue to outfit this shop, uh, little things like that, I feel like will go a long way. Uh, little tool holders, even uh, you know, put my files up and put them in a straight line and actually spacing them out. You can see some of the markings there. Uh, never did I realize that setting up a shop takes so much uh, focus. So, this is Joe uh, hanging out with the Stanley number 59 and uh, making some tool holders working in the shop. So thanks for joining me. Bye.